what is going on everybody and welcome back to gamer credits this is going to be level five let's start by introducing the players we got player one bp oh yeah yeah it's good to be back in a remote space how's everybody like us or the viewers everybody man y'all too oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh i was waiting for the viewers to respond i'm like damn this yeah. is gonna work <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. That's the goal. One day we'll get to that point. But you know. nice, nice. We, we gotta call them listeners because they technically uh -huh. aren't viewing us yet. True, so, true, yeah. true. Yeah, absolutely. And as you just heard, we got player two, Captain that Star would, Child. That would be just Star Child, but how's oh man. man, we've been down this road, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know better by now. <laughs> and then player three is your boy Kid Dream back at it again. All right, everybody. So before we even get into the topics and we introduce them, we're going to do this first like we have not been doing. Do we have any gaming moments of the week? No, actually, I do. Uh, you, it's dealing with the Legends of Tsushima. Nice. Multiplayer. Uh, basically getting through, was it the Nightmare Week Challenge? Story yeah, mode? Story. Yeah, that was pretty dope. And that was with a random. So <laughs> that felt really good. <laughs> Yeah, because I think it's hard. <laughs> very, very hard, man. Like, no joke. Yeah, I and... don't have anything, so you can just <laughs> go ahead and skip me on this one. <laughs> nice. All right, Star Child. Um, mine was also going to be uh, Legends as well. However, uh, yesterday, my girlfriend and I actually played uh, Among Us for about two hours or so. And it was, I'm not going to lie, it was a, it was a blast. We, uh, made a couple friends and had a couple laughs and giggles along the way so it was pretty fun oh, i cool. ain't made friends too look at that <laughs> i did make friends, <laughs> I, I mean, friends the thing, are they true friends or imposters nah, oh <laughs> no no he was like he was a true friend because actually i was the imposter and i was going to sh prove to him that i was the imposter to see if he would snitch on me but uh something happened and i was not able to do that ah okay <laughs> <laughs> I think uh -huh. uh, I think I think the other imposter killed him right before I could do it. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> so oh, I was really you. bad. But Jeez. in chat in the chat when they discovered his body, I had to play um play dumb. I was like, no, they killed my friend. Even though I saw the Whoa. whole thing happen. <laughs> so, uh, and, uh, we are now noticing that there's just two spaces. <laughs> <laughs> two faces to on um, kid dream man Can't oh yeah, trust yeah anything he says anymore at all at all when it comes to among us you never can <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, he, and he tries to talk me into it and i'm like see nah I man do. i know how you get down oh, oh man <laughs> Jeez. well anyway to introduce the topics topics we got a couple of them today we're going to talk about the travis scott playstation deal um then we're going to touch on the whole 2k uh adding unskippable ads in 2K21. Um, then we're going to touch on rage quitting in video games and just kind of discuss that. And then we're going to talk about the current state of the next generation pre-orders, the Series X and the PlayStation 5, how that's going. And then we're going to end it off with the uh, tweet that was done earlier um, dealing with streaming and that whole debacle. Mm. But to begin with, <laughs> to begin with, uh, Travis Scott is uh, collaborating with Sony now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who knew? Yeah, yeah man. You jump from McDonald's to Sony, <laughs> man. That is just a natural evolution right there. Pretty much, yeah. yeah <laughs> I was just thinking that too. That makes sense. <laughs> to kind of um add some background, uh a couple months ago, um Travis Scott partnered with Epic Games and Fortnite to do an in-game concert, and that concert actually uh broke records for Fortnite and they had the um highest number of concurrent players playing the game at one time for that concert. So mm -hmm. Uh, this isn't Travis's uh, first dabble in the video game industry, so it's mm -hmm. not. But it is definitely interesting for Sony to do this, you know. Definitely right. interesting. Yeah, it's I, very interesting. I guess my biggest question is: is, is what is he really going to do for Sony? <laughs> well, he's a strategic creative partner, which to me sounds like we need to give you a title. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's fair. Just, I, I just feel like, sure, they can use them in commercials and everything and ads. Mm -hmm. um, but why do they have to like go this far to make it seem like a partnership? You know, it's just weird to me. No offense to him. I'm, I'm sure he's right. a 
you know, he can definitely add a lot to any organization, but mm -hmm. I'm just curious as to what exactly he's going to be um, providing to the table, you know, for Sony. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm really trying to think about it. I mean, you know, say for like maybe events that they're planning on doing in the future that he's going to be like heading up or, you know, if he's yeah, going to yeah. have like kind of a role like how Jay-Z has with uh, the NFL in a way. I could see him hosting some events and stuff. Yeah. So I don't know. I was, I was curious, just trying to figure out, you know, because we don't really have a lot, whole lot other than that title, like <laughs> that guy was saying. So, yeah. Uh, I, yeah, it's 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 a strange one, but you know, I guess props to him. You know, he's doing his thing. So, oh, I'm I'm sure he's doing really good right now. Uh, you know, with the, the partnership from McDonald's not so long ago. I'm sure that made him a lot of money. <laughs> and I'll be honest, that that uh concert he had with the whole Fortnite mm -hmm. thing, I, it wasn't too bad. I mean, I, I'm not going to sit here yeah. and say I watched the whole thing, but well, for what I did see, it did. It was pretty. It was pretty dope. Um. I did. I I didn't watch it live in Fortnite. I watched the video after the fact. Um, okay. But yeah, it was it was really amazing. Like it, I I was expecting him to just kind of be on the stage and just kind of do his thing, or whatever. But I think yeah. it was really creative what they did. I think it was nice. Yeah, well, the done. visuals were ridiculous. Yeah, whoever designed all that, kudos mm -hmm. to them because they did a phenomenal job on that. Yeah, I kind of just had to go and look at it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> because I missed the whole thing. When you say Fortnite or Minecraft, my brain goes somewhere else. So <laughs> I nice. never, ever gave it a chance. And I apologize because I got to be more open minded if I'm going to be doing this podcast. You know, I got to start doing things that I may not like doing, like playing certain games I may not like playing. I may end up liking Ooh. it. Yeah, yeah man, I mean, you never know, right? Like like Travis Scott, I may have to start listening to some of his songs. <laughs> Just. <laughs> That don't worry. I'll send you a catalog. You'll you'll be fine. Oh man! <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, but I do have a, a like a, a actual, uh, I guess, a kudos to Travis Scott at the moment, but big ups because mm -hmm. for for his age and what he's actually doing, it's 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 almost like you, you give credit to like people like Biggie and Tupac for you know breaking barriers and opening doors for other artists. What mm -hmm. he's doing right now, he's going to be opening doors in a huge way. And I'm, I'm kind of like, don't want to take away from that. So I don't want to complain about maybe his music content or maybe some of his subliminal messages in his music. But just look at <laughs> how it got him to where he's at now, to where he can do bigger things and hopefully bring people along with him. It's definitely interesting. Yeah. It's a plus on that side, at least. Yeah. Yeah. You know. You know, I, I wonder if Sony um, saw because, you know, we don't know, at least as far as I'm aware, we don't know numbers on, you know, how well the uh, Travi Patty, you know, his his combo meal at McDonald's has done. You know, it, it could bring in huge numbers. And I think they did say it did bring in a lot of people. Um, mm. So I, I wonder if maybe Sony saw the success that McDonald's got by partnering with Travis Scott and, and, and is trying to. Um, imitate that success yeah by they're gonna capitalize off of it yeah right and just throw his name somewhere and expect people just to eat it up and buy it <laughs> yeah i mean you gotta remember this is what mm -hmm. companies do like they take a, a big name artist or a big name athlete like to say michael jordan for example this guy can keep selling sneakers even if he's no longer playing basketball so mm -hmm. if you can create a, a partnership with another artist that basically can I, I would say like bring a following with him mm -hmm. that following could become a entire religion in about five or six years so they are banking on this growing bigger than what it is now yeah oh yeah i can see that definitely a part of their plan so but uh off topic real quick the travi patty is that a thing or is it something you just made up or is that not what it's called i I mean, I, I'm asking are, you. <laughs> you the, said it so the, casually. I was like, "Oh, okay." It, are the cactus jet meal? I, I don't know what it's called exactly. I don't. I don't eat at McDonald's. So I'm not really but, sure. Wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. We oh. want endorsement, so we oh, just oh, oh. say that we <laughs> will mean, be yeah. eating tomorrow. Just so we, we know what the menus are. You know, we, yeah, 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 we can see where this leads. You know, you never know. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm uh, sorry. I just, yeah. I, I just, I know it's off topic. I was just like, wait, what? <laughs> Trap <Traffic> patty. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe that's not what it's called. Maybe it's maybe it's people on uh, the internet called it. I don't remember. <laughs> but hey, you know what? You, you can claim it though. You know, so if it, if it's something new, and they start doing that, and then they know who to turn to. And, I, and so, go ahead. 
No, I'm, 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 I was going to say something, but it was unrelated. So go ahead. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I was just going to say, I, I guess for Travis Scott, you know, what's next? You know, <laughs> what's after this? <laughs> Movies, man. Acting. I was, was going to say the world, but, you know, if you want to be modest, yeah. <laughs> Movies, I guess. <laughs> I mean, geez. The world? But yeah, you mean I, the I could... president? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good well, point for a child. I could see a, a movie or TV show or whatnot. You know, I could see that next. <laughs> <laughs> Since he's done so much as it is, you know. So. Right. Interesting. All right. Yeah. Any more uh, final statements for Mr. Travis Scott and Sony? Other than it's still an enigma as to what he's going to be doing next. We saw that one of the mini commercial or promotion video. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it didn't answer any questions. So to me, Not it's almost all. like it's almost like bringing back was like back in like 1999 when they were mm-hmm. like kind of advertising the Matrix movie. Yeah, uh-huh. didn't know what the Matrix was. You know, it kept <laughs> mentioning that, and you heard uh, Lawrence Fishburne, Fishburne's voice, and so you kind of knew he's in this movie, and you kind of still had that little mystery. And I think that what Sony likes is. A mystery right now right. so it, it's building the hype up and they, they're smart this is smart marketing right right just get people's interest beat and then you know capitalize on it oh yeah about you bp anything else oh no i'm good i'm still trying to figure <laughs> it out but you know i'm sure that you know we'll hear something pretty soon about yeah. it so i, I yeah. think I th- i'm just gonna pull this out of here because I, th- I i've yeah. heard just i'm sorry to the listeners to I won't throw out how old I am, but I am a oh, little gosh. bit above the demographic of Travis Scott. So I have not been paying attention to most of his music. So I went and looked <laughs> at about three or four of his videos, and I kind of see his um, attraction to a lot of the young fans. <laughs> um, he, he, <laughs> he talks about a lot of substance usage. And, and, and uh, his song uh, you that impression that he's you know he's all about that so sony <laughs> being a video game industry and a console maker you know they want their their you know their players to feel happy <laughs> while they're playing the game so adding that extra layer of layer of what travis scott message brings it, it it's it helps maybe to legalize some of the things that these players are actually doing <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> so this could be bigger than what we think right now. This could be something crazy by 2021. So I just threw that out yeah. there. <laughs> so long story oh, story right. short, uh, Travis, if you listening, you know we got an agent over here for you. <laughs> Whoa! Start <out. laughs> Hey, I, I can take a cut. Why not? Yeah. Star, hey, Star child is Star child is back on his conspiracies. Nice. I like it. Yes. Yeah, yes, man. You took right. it from me the last show, man. I need to, I need <laughs> to take it back. Blame it Dead. back, man. <laughs> what about you, kid? You had anything? No, just kind of like you all said. I'm just really curious to see what this turns into because they really didn't elaborate on what he's going to be doing. So I'm true, just true. interested to see pretty much. Yep. <laughs> so, okay. So moving on to uh, good old 2K. Add an mm-hmm. ad. Unskippable mm-hmm. ads at that. Oh. Into their loading screens, you know, before you start up a new game. Um, Granted, I think they were doing it for The Boys season two, weren't they? Wasn't that wasn't that the no? End? You're thinking of the EA thing. Was it? EA? Yeah, yeah, because that EA did that with the UFC game. I think the latest UFC game. So then, what were they? Uh, what did 2K advertise? Uh, I don't know because I saw some video on it and I couldn't tell what it was. It looked like some kind of product. I don't know if it was headphones or something. Listen, I'm pretty sure I saw the boys on there. <laughs> I, I mean, maybe I don't know. I'm just I just know that it was a big deal with EA. You know that people they were getting flack from people about that because they kept putting the boys kind of like theme or logo like in, like different yeah. spots of the replay and people were just like <laughs> they were livid. But either way, um, they added unskippable ads before you uh, load into a new match, a new mm-hmm. game, um, and a lot of people were angry about that because they oh, did yeah. it uh, pretty uh, strategically a good month or so after launch of the game. <laughs> sure did. Mm-hmm. So they after do. You've already given them money. <laughs> then they go back and change it and make it worse for you. <laughs> exactly. Classic. But you, classic. you gotta remember how ads work. So EA isn't putting these ads out there because EA wants to hurt the game, the you know, the player base. They're putting it out there to supplement their profits, and because oh, yeah. that's ad space. And there's someone like Oculus who's pulling the ads that were being pushed. They paying EA for this. So mm-hmm. you gotta remember, like 
This may be how EA keeps their pricing down for the next gen console. They may sell you a what? game for sixty dollars. Maybe. Two K. Mm -mm. Maybe. K yeah, as I say maybe. Well, oh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two yeah. K. I'm sorry. Two K. Yeah. I said two A. We're in the I'm same realm. It's okay. The they're, both, they're both horrible. So you <laughs> know, it's fine. Yeah, but yeah, two K. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but they may yeah. keep they may keep the pricing at sixty if they can keep these ads in there. I, I think well, that's well, that's the thing. Uh, they already are charging seventy dollars for new games. They were the mm -hmm. first ones to announce the seventy. They announced it, increase. but they haven't mm -hmm. they haven't sold games yet under seventy dollars, yeah. have they? Yeah, two K twenty one was uh to, to get it. the um yeah to get yeah. the next gen yeah. version yeah. is seventy bucks. Dang Dang it, so there it goes. Um, I'll <laughs> And that, and that's the thing. Like I understand the whole fact that yeah, you're trying to maximize profits and all that stuff. But that's what makes people really upset is that you're paying full price for the game as is. You know, yeah. Not to mention all the other add in, add ons and the, like DLCs, microtransactions, and stuff like that. Uh -huh. And then you're talking about ads that have to sit through. Yep. With like artificial loading times, I think that's the thing that really kind of drives people crazy. You know, because you expect that in free to play stuff. Oh yeah. It makes sense. Because they had to make their money, but with the sixty dollar tag, it's like you you are or seventy dollars coming up now. Yes, you know now. <laughs> yeah, I mean you you got that, you know, and so now I got to go through all that too, and just because you want more money, I got to sit and suffer through yeah. some stuff that I don't want to, you know, pay attention to. Like no, nah. but you so know, I think that's where you, people are feeling about it. I'm. I was gonna say, you know how we can prevent this from happening mm -hmm. by not <laughs> buying their game. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, but that's and the problem too. Because they own the the franchise pretty much. I mean, you have NBA Live, but I mean, come on, Wait, who plays that? <laughs> you can, yeah, you, come on. I mean, there's a few people here and there, that. but it's not enough to really detract. So, yeah. as their only game in town, it's like that's why it's so hard for people to just be like, you know what? No, I'm not doing it because they still want to play basketball. You know, they're but still this, is a, for this it. is a sad reality of our culture: is the fact that we are being exploited, and yet we're gonna lay back and take it. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Like. You can yeah. still say no. Like I, I mm -hmm. want to play your game, but I won't play until these changes are made. I mean, right. You're not, you're not being forced to play the game, so like you don't have to buy the game. Just so yeah. you make your point. Yeah. To our listeners out there, you know, just saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no. I mean, and, and that's in the sound arguments. So it's just hard because you got the whole generational thing where the newer generations they kind of have come up in this existing kind of era where this stuff exists. You know, with the whole monetization. So. For them, they're just like, well, I mean, it's been around. So, you know, it's not like with, you know, not revealing our age there, Star Child, but uh, <laughs> it's not like during those times when you just got a complete game with, you know, no catch or anything. It's just, you just got everything. You got everything that you're going to lock in the game, all that stuff. So, yeah, yeah. it's kind and of a G different era. And see, 2K is kind of in that sweet spot of a game where it's, it's, um, you, you have, you know, your hardcore people who play this game a lot, but it also brings in a huge casual crowd, you know, people who only buy maybe one or two games a year. And this oh, yeah. would be one of those games that they buy. So, you know, mm -hmm. those more casual people, they're not going to go out and complain and, and maybe fight back and say, oh, this is ridiculous. Whereas yeah. you know, you, your hardcore people who, you know, um, who might be more willing to kind of go against it. And so it. You know, they definitely have that crutch to fall back on. Well, we got all these casual people, you know, mm -hmm. who are buying the game anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And that, and that, casual, that casual crowd is going to kind of mess up the entire industry. I'm just, <laughs> that can be another topic for another show. Just... Looking like a true hardcore gamer there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but I just think it's so slimy that they did it after launch. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, you know, we, we always hear about games getting better at the launch, but there's always that uh, opportunity these days for them to get worse at the launch and for them to add things like this. And it's ridiculous. Right. And, and to add to that, Oops, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, you go. No, no, you go. BP. No, you got it. I know what I'm going to say. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I was going to say, like, a lot of these companies, not just 2K, but if they get too much flack, they can remove the ads and be like, how bad we listen to our our customers and consumers and we want to apologize and here's the game without the ads and yeah and that's and they would try again later on so it's not right. like they're going to learn it just yeah. yeah and they and in fact they've done that they they actually continue to do that and that's the thing that makes me sick is that 
they make it they frame it in such a way to make it seem like oh we're doing this for you you know like oh we're hearing your cries out for this to not be there and you know what i mean it's like no yeah. you knew that from the start <laughs> you just oh yeah like that is oh, absurd yeah. and oh, yeah. and to add to kids point earlier what he was saying earlier um it, we, and another interesting thing you look at is when they implement these things with the next gen they're supposed to be fast load times right yeah. but now when you have this you know that the low times are going to have to be artificially made for you yeah. to see this kind of thing so it's like yeah. yeah yeah we discussed that in the last show about the artificial load times so they were sure. create artificial load times because we are used to that like they they don't want to make us feel so great in this new this, this new world new gen consoles mm-hmm. they want to still yeah. use that artificial load time to do something they, they, yeah. they need it and our minds is kind of con- like conditioned for it which is fine i just don't like that they're going to use it to exploit it for this purpose you have know, like ad yeah. stuff revenue which uh, anyway I can go on, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, has anybody watched the episode of um, it was a um, Black Mirror on Netflix, where basically one of the episodes were based on the fact that you watch enough ads mm-hmm. in, in your entire day to earn some type of money. That's all you did. That was the whole oh, yeah, entire. Yeah. I think I do remember that. Yeah, yeah. That, was a, that was a whole culture. I mean, it, yeah. the act, the actor from um. Uh, not us. Uh, get from, out. Um, get out. He was the main um, actor yeah. in that episode. Yeah, I remember and, that now. Yes. And and we we basically can see what the future will be <laughs> mm-hmm. if e, like two K and all these companies decide to keep pushing ads because ads yeah. is how companies make money. And in the future, mm-hmm. ads is going to be like everywhere. I mean, Futurama makes a joke of this in the intro when they start their show up and they, the ship flies through. Every building yeah. has ads. Like this is this yeah. is reality. It's going to yeah. get worse. Yeah. No, that's a good, very good point. So yeah. So very um, good oh, show no. by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a great show. <laughs> yeah, man. Because we got great hosts. Well, both of them. Out, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But all in all, this is a, a definitely a, a step in the wrong direction. And um, mm-hmm. to kind of uh, address what Star Child mentioned earlier, they did kind of address the issue, but they just said we'll look at it at a later ish, a later patch or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, I think they were talking about moving it right, like it was in the wrong spot, and they were going to do it yeah. post game or something. Which I'm like, that doesn't fix yeah. anything. But okay, yeah, nobody. <laughs> And nobody believes them. I mean, come on. You, oh, you yeah. just, you're just saying that because yeah, everybody complains. Oh, yeah. We're sorry. Yeah, we didn't yeah. know. I mean, like, come on, man. Get exactly. Out exactly. So, but any uh, final statements on 2K? No. I is... think we spent enough time on that on that trash. But <laughs> <Got> it's <you. laughs> right. there's some loyal players out there. We cannot call 2K games. Oh, trash. yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, oh, yeah. yeah. They, they, they should know, though. I mean, honestly, the gameplay, sure, is fine, but. The company itself, come on now. Yeah. Yeah. So moving on to uh rage quitting in games. Um, and I think this uh kind of sparked Star Child's interest. Uh last week we were kind of talking, um, and I was playing Among Us and he was kind of watching me stream it. And um I know uh that game can kind of get heated either um like in, I know a lot of people in the beginning they leave the game if they're not the imposter because they just mm-hmm. want to be the imposter that are when you have to discuss to figure out who is the imposter it's the internet and it's a video game so people can get pretty heated and uh mm-hmm. <laughs> the things yeah. that they say and start throwing out accusations and everything like that and so um i think that kind of sparked some memories with star child with uh, overwatch so you want to go ahead and take over hey i mean <laughs> we all gonna have some type of um experiences to bring into this conversation because we all <laughs> we all been through it Oh, but yeah. yeah, Overwatch is one of those games where basically you're playing against other players. But at the time, well, at the time when I was playing Overwatch, you know, my enjoyment in that game was also that I had a team of people I knew personally that was with me in the game. So I would, I would, I know that we don't rage quit with our with our team. So we are not bringing that kind of BS to the table when you're playing other people. But mm-hmm. when you're playing against randoms and they don't have their own group and they just in a group of other randoms mm-hmm. it's more likely that they are going to do rage quitting if they feel like the team they're with is not going to win and I, I think game designers would need to come up with ways to make it where 
they can prioritize your partnership with other uh, opponents based on if they are actually in a fire team type setting because that will probably kind of like limit how rage critting is because <laughs> if you're with someone you know you're not mm -hmm. going to leave that person so right so that's that's my little idea to throw out there but my whole rant is the fact that it kills the fun value of a game when a person doesn't stick around to the end because it makes it where if you're in a team, that team is going to be one person short playing against a full team because you weren't man or woman enough to stay in the game and see it through. Because, I mean, even if you're losing, maybe you can get better before the loss and make the win. Like, you just don't know unless you put all your effort into it. So to anyone listening that rage crits, and I know some of you are out there, don't do it. <laughs> you may win if you just put more effort into it. Mm -hmm. You heard that first, ladies and gentlemen. Star Child will come for you. I won't Rage come quit. for you. I'm not a, I'm, I don't bully online or nothing like that. So, no, I won't come for you. But I don't feel your pain. Cause there's no need for it. <laughs> no sympathy. That's right. Nice. You in it. Too. But, yeah, you know all the way. But, I mean, it, it is hard uh, when you do have these online games to uh, to kind of keep the peace and everything because mm -hmm. you do have people kind of like star child was mentioning who do leave the games and everything and it does yeah. screw over the remaining people and even the enemy team because now it's kind of a, a cheated victory because it's you know six to one or whatever you know it's yeah a fair fight mm -hmm. um yeah and to back that up you know i've had that with over i don't mean to cut you off i'm sorry you had more are you fine no nah, you can go ahead no nah, i was just a backup with uh star child was saying with overwatch you know especially when it comes to the competitive matches you know i've had my fair share of getting in there and you know, we're doing great, everything's going fine, but because one on a person on a team, you know, they end up like either dying a lot or they don't feel like they're contributing, they just all of a sudden are up and out. Yeah. And the bad thing with the competitive modes is that it's really, really hard to find another person in there and the game continues as is. So it's a yeah. very, very unfair advantage. Um, that even to this day, I, I, it's, it's, I haven't seen them really kind of address that well. Um, mm -hmm. And not, even with the fact that, you know, people would think, oh, OK, well, it would, if we lose, for example, it wouldn't count. But unfortunately, it still counts against you. And it's just really weird, a really weird space that that happens in. Um, yeah. But but I would pose this question to you, Starchild, if I, you know, might be playing a little devil's advocate, but, you know, we'll see. <laughs> so in your eyes, rage quitting, like, would there be no justification for it whatsoever? Like, let's say, for example, you end up in a team that you feel like they're just not taking things serious you know, with the match or they're just completely just messing things up on purpose. Let's say they, you may even suspect they're working with the other team because you see them kind of, you know, hanging around each other, not doing that. But then you come around, they just gun you down or something. Do you feel like there would be any kind of justification for it or still no? I mean, here's the thing. There's always going to be other variables to why some people do what they do when it comes to rage quitting. But I'll, sure. put, it like, I'll put it like this. Mm -hmm. When you're born, you don't pick your parents. So when you log on to a game, you're not picking your random. Right. <laughs> you're just gonna have to play. <laughs> you have to play with the cards that have been dealt and just right. deal with it. Right. <laughs> got you. Got you. Tough love. I got nice. you. Nice. Tough <laughs> love. You know. You know. You kind of sound like an old manager I used to have back when I worked at a restaurant. <laughs> Um, why why you gotta be old man come on <laughs> well, yeah, no, 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 just a former manager I used to have. oh there we I go gotta, yeah gotta words are everything man yeah <laughs> and he, he would um anytime somebody would make a mistake you know mess up a burger mess up you know an order or whatever they would go to eat it or whatnot and he would say you know your parents didn't eat their mistake Ooh, Jeez. that's cold blooded <laughs> like geez, man like you know, but it's. Uh, I it, hope I didn't come across that bad. But yeah, I see what he's getting you at. You know, <laughs> he kind of did, but no, nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, but yeah, it, I mean, it's definitely something developers have to take into account and and try to put systems in place for. Um, like, I, just a quick example Among Us, they, uh, if you quit prematurely uh, several times in a row, um, mm -hmm. You'll get put on like a five minute ban where you can't join other games until that cooldown goes away. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it combats it a little bit. You know, it's, it's only five minutes. So, I mean, the grand scheme of things is not huge. Mm -hmm. um, but it is definitely something it, the developers have to keep in mind because it, it does, um, it can hurt the other players' enjoyment in the game. Um, right. just, it, it hurts the game because there's been, it is a certain game that we were playing. Um, it wasn't overwatch i can't even think right now because it's so off the top of my head 
but <laughs> after a while of always encountering that type of um, personalities that just keep critting, you stop playing that game because you just know that's what's going to happen and that's not a fun experience. Why bother trying to do it again? So it hurts oh, the yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah, I've, that's true because I've seen streamers on YouTube kind of talk about that where they're just like, you know what, I'm just not having much fun with this and, <laughs> you know, some just move on to something else, Among Us, something, you know, and, yeah. you know, and it, it is pretty tragic especially when the you know their channel is kind of centered around it yeah so mm-hmm. it's like uh it's, a little, it's just really tough and that's that's the difficult thing is that it's so easy to just quit the game <laughs> it's yeah. so easy man like, yeah that's, it's, to just leave this, the match that's 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 what's wrong with your generation today man oh god oh, this, guy. <laughs> this guy all well, righty i guess the old card still back in play i mean <laughs> <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> All right, hey, so but we more? did seg- we did segue almost into the in the, the streaming topic. Almost, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, any more uh, any more comments on this topic? Nah, nah. You, you know my position on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Star Charles kind of went ahead and said his piece, put out the threats. So, oh, keep, God. players beware, <laughs> play your games through. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So before we get to uh, the final topic, we just wanted to kind of briefly touch on uh, pre-orders uh, for the next generation systems. Um, mm-hmm. Now, I, I will say, uh, a YouTuber Rich Review Tech USA made a video talking about um, people were getting notifications that their pre-orders were getting canceled. Um, mm-hmm. I kind of want to focus more on: Do we think? pre-orders will be canceled more will be canceled before launch and also do we think uh these companies are going to be able to deliver the systems on time on the release date interesting um so will there be more cancellations uh i don't know at this point you know because i knew a lot of them well allegedly i mean i don't know i mean maybe it did it didn't i don't know but um uh, i know a lot of the notices were sent out from various places like you know amazon and uh, I think Walmart, Target, or something like that. Yeah, where they had to contact certain people, and some were trying to be very cordial about it. Others were just like, "Hey, you don't got it no more. <laughs> Best of luck to you." So, oh, yeah, I think. Target so I mean, yeah, so that was that was pretty savage. But yeah, as far as any more to be rolled out like that, it's hard to say. I mean, because like I said, a lot of them allegedly happened. Um, and then interestingly enough, I've heard of rumblings that there were supposed to be more pre-orders. That were supposed to be coming soon, but at this point in time, it, it, who can say? Mm-hmm. I can't find any like legit journalism out there about this at all. I did some mm-hmm. searching, and there's not any kind of like mainstream articles that state that this is what's happening or what's occurring. So I I, I don't know if this is just clickbait <laughs> for for his <laughs> his his YouTube channel because I mean this is a hot topic. Why not put that up there and 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 speculate on it but i just haven't found anything i don't know anyone that had it happen to so i'm just gonna have to wait and see what's going on so you don't think more more are, are any going to get canceled i should say i don't see how i think that if you're pre-ordering those companies like walmart and target they know what they were given as their inventory so they are <laughs> they, they they should from you know from the inventory because that's usually how the warehousing stuff works but Mm -hmm. if they oversold i don't see how they can do that if they already had the system in place to not oversell but if they did then you would think that cancellation would happen at the moment that the person's trying to check out they'd be like Mm -hmm. oops no longer available not just after it allows you to to put in your pre-order like a week later is oh no longer available that doesn't make sense well you got to keep you got to keep in mind this is the same system that when the uh all the um systems went live all the uh the playstation and um, xbox went live uh pretty much every website almost crashed yeah the traffic can crash the, the the site but just the idea that the the tracking of the inventory mm-hmm. i don't see how that can happen they should definitely be setting the correct well, numbers in the availability list well, well Go I'll ahead. say this uh, real mm-hmm. quick because I do have an actual example myself. Um, oh, wow. Back when the uh, I think it was the SNES Classic, okay. oh, um, or the the uh, the one before that, I can't remember which one. Anyway, um, I, I know they were sold out like immediately, and I mm-hmm. saw that Walmart had some in stock, 
And so I went and I pre-ordered, I, you know, did my order and everything like that. And I placed it. And I do remember sometime later getting confirmation from them that my pre-order was canceled. They didn't have it. Mm. Oh, wow. Um, so well, that, I agree. that is Walmart. So again, yeah, it, there is, yeah, Walmart <laughs> and is I have just other experiences, just for other things with Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, just saying. I mean, I, who knows? You know. Yeah. Well, I, I see your point, though. Yeah. What's the what was the time lapse again? I'm, I'm, I missed that. So you say you had pre-ordered it, right? Yeah. And then when did it cancel? Like, when, when did you uh, find out? Um, honestly, I can't remember because I just thought about this example. But sure, it, it it wasn't immediately when I when they told me it was canceled. I don't remember if it was a day or two later or maybe mm-hmm. a couple hours later. But okay. I know it wasn't immediately. Okay. And the reason why I say that is because I was going to add to uh, Star Child's point about mm-hmm. that whole thing where they should. It's really crazy to think about that they wouldn't know the inventory like that and just send these uh, notices later because. When did the pre-orders go up? Wasn't that like last month? Yeah, last month. Yeah, so you would think that, I mean, within that time span, they would have known sooner, right? So it's kind of, it is kind of weird now that Starshaw says all that, that it took that long for them to finally send notice and say, oh, hey, you know, <laughs> our bad. You well, don't I have mean, it. You know what could have happened? Because, you know, I'm the conspiracy theorist on this show. Oh, here we go. Oh, I've been waiting. Ready. There's probably one of those trucks that we're going to deliver a lot of those consoles to a GameStop, and it <laughs> got detoured. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah, got displaced. <laughs> got yeah, you. Like, so that <laughs> could be what had happened too. Got it's you. Actually, it's actually what I was going to bring up was the fact that you know why that there's such a delay from when people pre-ordered and maybe just now getting cancellation. Maybe you know these retailers are finally getting the actual systems in stock. You know, in mm-hmm. the back. Right. And so now that they're getting the system in house, they're you know scanning their inventory and they're like, oh, we thought we ordered 500, 500 but they only sent four hundred. Right. Mm-hmm. And so we did pre orders for five hundred. You know, so it, that could be maybe why because maybe something happened, um, like Starch out said, and you know, mm-hmm. a, sh- a truck went missing or you know, ship mm-hmm. didn't make it to its destination. You know. Yeah, that, like, yeah. that shrinkage it's before it makes it onto the floor. You know that. <laughs> And I and, think we need to go ahead and put cameras on those people doing the inventory. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, yeah, yeah. I mean, coming from retail back in the days, oh man, I got stories. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I yeah. And the thing is, we even when I wanted to add the kid was, um, isn't it interesting too that is that it's just flat out cancellations? Like when you think they would try to make arrangements to say, oh well, you know, when the next batch comes in, you'll be the that's a good first point. in line. You know, like just roll it over to that like you wouldn't you think that that's just interesting now that i well, think about it i think that speaks volumes to um one the time frame of when a new batch will come and just right. how limited quantity they do have now is, or, or will have in the future with it whatever the new batch might be it's just mm-hmm. <laughs> not a whole lot see this this plays my conspiracy man that you know <laughs> well, we already discussed it about the whole artificial demand but i won't get into it we've already <laughs> been down that road no need to return but yeah just some things to think about. So do y'all think um, people will get their deliveries on time or do you think it'll be delayed? Well, um, if it's Amazon, <laughs> we don't <laughs> we have to see. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have any faith in these companies if it's already showing the signs that cancellations are happening. So mm-hmm. I still I still in, I'm still in disbelief because I just can't find a actual article that can support what's ha- what they're saying. Yeah, I hope that they're going to have these deliveries done on time because, again, there's already enough um, negative things going on with these these new consoles. It's not even mm-hmm. fun even discussing them right now because everything's technically bad news about what's happening. Like, there's rumors that, you know, something of a system, I won't say which one it is, just in case it's not <laughs> correct, is overheating already. Like, they they already seeing some issues. and. Mm. It's just a lot of things that you kind of want them to have already fixed before it gets out there on the market. Mm-hmm. So this being a cancellation um, thing happening too, that's just adding more negative press on something that should be exciting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's been a rough patch. Yeah. yeah this, I, is, this isn't think... fun, man. It's like, <laughs> like there, was funny. A, there was a time where you know that you don't have to get something day one. Mm-hmm. Like you didn't mm-hmm. have to, you just because you no know, experiencing the, the the red ring of death or the blue ring of death, the idea that the first generation consoles, the first 
batch may not be the perfectly made ones. A lot of people know to, to just wait until the second generation comes out. So we don't have to rush for these consoles. Again, the, the current console, they, they have not been even pushed to their limits yet. So I'm not rushing to get the, the newest one until probably next year. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like if you're going to push a new product to the market, it has to have, in my opinion, the best light. Like it, 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 it for the amount of money you you want people to spend, you kind of want to have a good experience in getting it. Like you shouldn't be fighting people to buy something. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Speak, for you, speak for yourself. I'm about to go rush out and get one when I can. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I was gonna say, to, you know, to to that credit, I mean, also considering the climate of the year, you know, how everything's been uncertainty. So oh, I know yeah. that kind of plays a factor into the, you know, into the whole hype factor. But you know, I, I still will side more with Star on that. That you don't really have that much excitement because there is so much negative stuff, like with the pre-order stuff, the possible alleged overheating, the uh, the, the expenses of the, uh, how expensive the drives are going to be the uh, what the removable drives yeah yeah so I mean there's just always something going on and not to mention the oh, increase yeah. in price of you know game next gen games so it's yeah yeah so I mean I, I to that effect yeah I can if you could certainly compare it to the other releases other console releases from previous times you know I, I still feel like yeah it's, it's nowhere near that that level <laughs> yeah so and I I think um. As far as the delivery, I think some companies might, you know, be delayed a couple of days, but I'm, I'm thinking maybe most people might get it on time. Um, okay. But, you know, just something to wait and see. Uh, hopefully, uh, more people pre orders don't get canceled, and hopefully, they'll have a new batch in pretty soon because I want one. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Uh, you couldn't tell hey, that. <laughs> if I accidentally see something available, and I have the budget for it, I'll buy it, but I'm not Whoa, gonna be Yeah, yeah I, I mean okay. I I do rather wait a year. I'll rather right. just, just <laughs> hold off. But if it's just out there and it's like, hey, it's here, take me, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna buy it. Why not? Okay. But I'm not gonna you know do what some people are doing right now, which are they are looking on eBay and all these other third party sites to pay more. Oof, no, oh no. Yeah, mm -mm, people no. are actually trying to pay more just so they can have their hands on and be the first right. ones with it. And that's mm -hmm. not that's not necessary. Hence why you had the the the, the um scalpers. You yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. They 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 count on that kind of thing. Yeah. So so any closing thoughts? Um no. I at least more plea orders. Yeah, like, yeah. Said, like, like, just give us a good experience, Sony and Microsoft, and yeah, make us feel I mean, good again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they said they were going to release some, and I hadn't heard anything since. But you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. same with Xbox. Nothing. Yeah. So okay. Well, moving on to the, the final topic, and I think the one BP was waiting on the most. Oh uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> To kind of give you an overview of what's going on. Um, now, he has changed his Twitter bio, but uh, this is coming from Alex Hutchinson. I hope I said that right. Uh, he, yeah, uh, yeah he, he he had that he was the creative, uh, was it designer, director? I think it was the director, I believe. I might for, be wrong, but. For Stadia. Um, and so he uh, kind of had the internet uh, in a frenzy over the week with a tweet or a combination of tweets that he put out. And I just want to kind of read them to you real quick. Um, mm -hmm. The first one is going to be, quote, streamers worried about getting their content pulled because they use music they didn't pay for should be more worried about the fact that they're streaming games that they didn't pay for as well. It all it's all gone as soon as publishers decide to enforce it, end quote. And then the second mm -hmm. tweet that he did was, quote, the real truth is the streamers should be paying the developers and publishers of the games they stream. They should be buying a license like any real business and paying for the content they use, end quote. <laughs> Basically, yeah. he thinks, uh, or he's stating that streamers um, should buy an additional license to stream that game, you know, on Twitch or YouTube or anything like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> mm, a lot of people didn't agree with that. I was gonna say BP, get it out, man. I see yeah. you about to blow up here. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm just trying to keep from laughing too maniacally. <laughs> um, 
I, I it's funny because it's one of those things where I hear it and I'm like, this is so ridiculous. I have so many ways to go about it, but then I get to it and I'm just like, ah, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's that whole idea. I mean, just forgetting the fact that the streamers are what bring the attention to the game in the first place. I mean, ask among us. Um, <laughs> Free advertisement. Yeah, you know, it's just it's incredible. You know, it, it, it just only can come from a strictly business mindset. You know, like yeah. a person that I I truly feel like probably puts, you know, um, uh, money over the passion. You know, when it comes oh, to yeah. gaming. You know, because anybody who's passionate about that stuff, they they would laugh at that idea. And like I said, companies out there real, realize what they have in it. It's a gold mine to have streamers stream your game. That's what you want. You want that attention. Yeah. Uh, so it, it's just, and not to mention, let alone the fact that you assuming that the streamers who use the content have already purchased said game. Yeah. So it's just oh, yeah. it's a whole lot to try to was it's a whole lot to try to wrap my head around. Like I I really feel like it was about to explode, <laughs> and then I just it, it was weird. It was one of those things where I just got outraged at first, but then I just started laughing uncontrollably. But but here's the, here's the hypocrisy of the whole thing. So that's right. his statement. But mm -hmm. there's actual publishers who are giving their games to these streamers to right. stream. Yes. So if a publisher is giving you a game so that you can freely stream, who yeah. is this guy to say that we still we should ask for some type of payment? The right. publishers are giving these games out. So yeah. I, I, it's the hypocrisy of what he was saying did not align with the reality of what's happening at the moment. I, yeah. I, I think that he may have been a little drunk and did <laughs> a drunk text, text and didn't realize he said what he said uh -huh. until the next day. And so, yeah. But didn't and, he double down on it by saying some more about it later? He was still, he was still drunk at that time. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, probably, he carried on. <laughs> He's probably in the comment section. But uh, <laughs> to, to Star Child's point, that's actually what I was going to bring up, is, yeah. is that it's funny is that because usually it's the other way around. Like he said, you know, these developers, these publishers are paying streamers to stream the game. Right. Um, yeah. Look at uh, Apex Legends when that first came out. Um, EA spent millions. I'm pretty sure. I think it. I think it was millions, but maybe not. But they spent mm -hmm. a lot of money, right? Uh, to popular streamers at the time to get them to play the game, so other yeah. people will watch it and play it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's yeah. just interesting because it's usually the other way around. Is people are you know publishers pay streamers. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, he he came it, out of left field, man. I just don't see oh, yeah. how he got that. You know. It was just such a weird thing, too, because it wasn't even like the topic was about what was it? The, the whole thing with music, about how the creators and streamers were worried about the music part. Like, like you said, you yeah, know, that does like they were dealing with that. Yeah, because they do get uh, their streams or videos taken down if they do have copywritten music in the um, right stream, which, yeah. you know, involving the music industry, that's a whole nother thing, you know, yeah, like man, so it's, mob going on. Right yeah. There. You know, <laughs> like they want their cut. <laughs> In their blood, right? So you know, we kind of you know coming from that aspect, you know, we kind of see where that you know how that goes on, you know. But with this whole yeah. thing, the <laughs> publishers demanding money for the license of streaming their games are just it's just so out of left field. Like Star Child said, it's, oh yeah, I can't even Google. I mean, Google who owns YouTube, you know, they had to come out and basically try to clear the air. Like, hey, he may <laughs> be. You know, working for Stadia, but he is not speaking for the company. <laughs> yeah, and as of now he uh, changed his Twitter bio, so it doesn't. It no longer references uh, anything about Stadia or anything. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you now, can do definitely. You, do you think that he may have been down promoted or no, not depromoted? I think that's the word. I don't. Yeah. Demoted, I guess. I demoted. demoted. There we yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He been demoted. He wasn't fired, but yeah. yeah. So it's like, I mean, do you think that's what may have happened because he caused too much again negative press, and that's not what they need right now. If that, this is Stadia, so. the Stadia does not yeah. need any negative press. They really don't, <laughs> you know. <laughs> they really don't right now. <laughs> they are struggling. So yeah, that, to your point, um, that's interesting to think about. Um, only reason why I say that is because I know apparently they made some kind of statement saying that it, this, his title was overstated or something like that, or he, you know, so it's interesting. I mean, that if they're saying that, that they probably had a conversation beforehand, like, look, uh, we're going to have to scale you down a little bit because huh. we don't know what you was thinking about, but 
Yeah. Now we got to clean up your mess. Uh, you know, who, who yeah. knows? It, it's I mean, costing the stadium money to definitely have to clean this mess. Yeah, yeah. Like, a lot happens behind the scenes that we don't know. So, you know, I, I I'm really curious to to know from him what he thinks would be a fair amount um, for streamers to pay mm-hmm. for a, 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 sh- a streaming license for games, for instance. I'm really curious to think what he thinks is is fair. Is it a one time purchase or is it a mm-hmm. monthly purchase? <laughs> That's knowing him, point. knowing him, probably monthly, and I tell you what, where that's gonna lead him, right off the of streaming, because <laughs> I know. Look, if I was gonna be like, I was actually toying with that myself, doing the streaming of certain games, and if I was ever told that, like, oh, well, sorry, you have to get you know pay a little fee. Oh, okay, well, it's not that, it's not that big a deal. I can still enjoy the games with them, come from my own home. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> you, you can keep your little streaming license. And you know, thinking about. The streaming environment in the world. Uh, I I wonder if developer and I'm, I don't think they will, but I wonder if developers did implement um, some kind of license that you had to buy. Um, how that would affect the streaming world and would that take maybe smaller streamers out of the uh, the game because you know they don't have the money to pay for an additional license. You know what I mean? Exactly. Right. Yeah. So it's just like, like I said, laughable, laughable. You know- you know, we, we live in a world where basically everything we are doing is online. Like everything that we are basically existing through is online. From mm-hmm. YouTube to Google to any type of search engine. It's basically a virtual reality that we So if you want people to get your product out there, you are competing with so many other com- competitors. And Very, so yeah. st- streamers are giving you a, a voice. And how how dare you take that voice away from something that's beneficial to you? So no, yeah. you're not you're not gonna be making money. You're gonna be cutting your own your own hands off. Yeah, yeah. Streamers these days they are um, a valuable asset to any any video game company because they can bring in players. Kind of like uh, BP mentioned earlier, Among Us. I mean, the recent surge of of streamers playing that game has brought in thousands upon thousands of people and it's the hot thing right now yeah Mm -hmm. Um, it it even it even stopped them uh had them stop work on among us two because among us one blew up (laughs) yeah they stay until the sequel because streamers brought in so much traffic to the the original that they're going to focus on that one Mm -hmm. so you think that stadia is butt hurt because streamers aren't streaming through stadia uh man, Google probably forgot about Stadia. To be honest, I was, I was just about to say that. I was just about to say that. <laughs> they probably forget it. It's like an afterthought or something that they catch on the desk one day. Like, oh yeah, that's right, Stadia. Google's probably, Google probably like Stadia. Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? Bro, I'm telling you, man. They probably. Oh man, they probably Google, would be like listening that. right now. We still want your um, <laughs> funding. <laughs> No, it's just right. jokes. Hey, look. No, but I mean, I'm just just speaking facts, man. Google, man. I, say, I but, saw the, the other day. I think something about they were sheltering. Uh, was it play now? Was it play now or play music or something like that? Oh yeah, you yeah you mentioned that. I thought I think I saw something like that. I might be wrong, but I was like, come on, Google. I'll be trying to defend you out here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like not making it easy. Yeah, I think that Google is huge as it is, and Google, yeah. Stadia was just a little gamble like any other of their gambles. It's not going to hurt their pockets, but no. the premise of what Stadia could have brought to the industry would mm-hmm. have been huge. But the yeah. timing is not here for not here for at least us in America. Our infrastructure for our actual internet is not the best. Right, uh, we are always trying to build on pre-existing. Uh, equipment so it's like mm-hmm. we, are, we are just trying to use fiber that's on top of copper wires <laughs> so it's like yeah we're not the best at the moment so in other mm-hmm. countries stadia may be amazing but like newer countries that's just not getting into that type of um i guess uh fiber infrastructure they start mm-hmm. from scratch they got like the best and the greatest america we gonna need for our government to just go ahead and fund everything and just rip up all this stuff and give mm-hmm. us brand new you know, infrastructure so that we can you know, have Stadia. Because right now, Stadia is not going to work everywhere. Yeah. Good luck with that. We can't even get infrastructure <laughs> with our roads, but you know, that's, <laughs> that's some bridges. But you know, that's, that's, uh, that's a whole other thing. 
Yeah. Talk about that some other time. Yeah, that, <laughs> that could be a different podcast. On the yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Got to keep it gaming. You're right. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, it's. Yeah, but I mean, it, to your point, start sound idea, sound idea behind it, and it did definitely start something that a lot of companies were looking into with the streaming the, over the cloud. Uh, but just look, they, I just think they were just listening to the wrong people as far as the implementation, you know. Yeah, you know, there was just so many different things that they could have did that would have been way better um, to approach it instead of releasing half baked stuff and charging full price for it. And yeah, so yeah. I- I really think if they were determined, they could turn Steady around. The idea is definitely interesting. And I think mm-hmm. kind of, as we talked about in the previous show, I, I think uh, streaming games is going to be the next big uh, evolution in gaming. Um, mm-hmm. I, I just don't think Google as a company, though, is willing to stick around and, and keep providing the funding and resources that it needs. And I think that's what's going to kill it. Yeah, because yeah, they definitely need to bring in people who really are more passionate, I think, about it and just can- yeah really kind of offer some sound advice perhaps people who come from industry, the gaming industry uh from you know some walk walks of life you know some some form you know like former uh you know like bungee developers just any former developers from any company you know that would come in and be like oh you know you might want to do it this way you, you know? know and it's funny i just thought about it mm-hmm. when they were pitching stadia um talking about you know what it can do and all the good stuff it's, it's funny because one of the things that they emphasized was the um implementation it has built in with uh streamers so you yeah. could be streaming the game and you yeah. could like have a level or something or, or you could put a challenge out there and you right. could post a link in your stream or something and, and people could click it and take part in it and stuff like I that. They, that i forgot they all about that, that. Yeah, emphasize the streaming capabilities with it, and now it's just funny to hear this guy talking about people paying to stream <laughs> the game. <laughs> it's probably like, oh, hold Stadia. up, yeah, it's like, that's why they had to come out real quick. Like, oh, hold up, now look, hey, we don't know anybody what he's talking about. <laughs> so, yeah, you may want to check to make sure he's alive. Uh, wow. Well, he um he did this five days ago, and he has not tweeted since. Oh no! Oh well, okay. Mm. So uh, wellness check on that. I mean, (laughs) so uh, yeah, (laughs) might be be a nice little update we need to give for the next episode. (laughs) It's like, like, folks, good news. He's good, or (laughs) sadly we haven't heard from him. So just wish the best. Yeah. So uh, (laughs) yeah, it's pretty scary. (laughs) So any uh, closing thoughts on that topic? No, I think we mm-hmm. touched on everything on that. Yeah. Nice. Other than me laughing uncontrollably, you know, I think oh, that God. should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Let's right. down. Oh, God. This Ooh. guy. Okay. Let me oh, man. relax. All right. All right. All right, everybody. Well, uh, thanks for spending some time to hang out and chat with us and uh, get our opinions and takes on some of these uh, wonderful, wonderful topics we brought up today. Um, it's always, always. A, always a pleasure. Mm-hmm. Always a good time, man. Love it. All right, Travis Scott, big ups. (laughs) All right, everybody. We'll see you next time. (laughs) Well, hold on. I was was speaking of which, since he threw out that whole thing for Travis. I'm just going to throw out the email again for everybody just to leave comments or any suggestions or anything that would be helpful. Uh, You can reach us at uh, G-M-R-C-R-E-D-I-T-S. What's that? Hey. I, I don't know if it was an audio issue on my end, but you may want to repeat that. Oh, no worries. Okay. You hear me now? Yes. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So that email again is going to be G-M-R-C-R-E-D-I-T-S at gmail.com. And like I said, just let us know um, through email, you know, some improvements you have for us or just any just feedback whatsoever would be great. And Travis, if you're listening, that's the way that you can reach out to Star Child. Oh, so. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Cool. All right. <laughs> All right. All righty. Well, guess we're good. <laughs> now Let's you can go eat. It. <laughs> About time. All right. Take it easy, everybody. Peace. <laughs>